Alright, so how y'all doing? It's Shorty Vaz here with another episode of Beats and Sneaks, and today we got the KD6. And these are the Aways, as you can see. They're gonna retail for 130. You got the regular old box here, as usual. Same old, same old. Nothing different with this box. But boom, you got the shoe here. As soon as I see this shoe, I instantly think of the New York Knicks <laughs> instead of the OKC because you know the New York Knicks has been around longer and this is the exact same colorway so that's what I think of when I see it but you know it's OKC so hit y'all with that front angle let you guys see this really quick See that? Seat Pleasant Finest is what it says. Seat Pleasant's Finest. And then you got the silver Nike check right there. Orange shoelaces with that black net mesh finish behind it. And then you got the orange logo on that blue upper area of the tongue. And the color is black, metallic, silver, orange, photo blue, neor, and like a team orange. So it's all over the place as far as colors go. But you know, we'll just say orange, blue, <laughs> black, and silver. That's all we'll say. They coming up with all these new colors every day. It's crazy. Get you a better shot of this. I like this little area here with the little speckles. I think that's dope. You got the orange air unit right there. These fit the same as all the other KDs. So whatever you measure at, grab that. It's not like Jordan where you get exactly where you measure at and sometimes you they fit a little big. These you literally have to get your size that you measure at. So whatever you wear at Jordan's most of the time, you have to go a half size up for any of the House of Hoop type shoes. And when I say House of Hoop, I mean LeBron, Kobe, um, KD, and phone posits. Jordan doesn't count as a House of Hoop shoe. As you can see, you got the orange insole with the blue KD signature in there. And here, you know, it's just blue. And you got the black finish right here on the material behind it's on. I mean, it's not too much going on with this shoe, but it is definitely, it's, it's, it's not a special, special shoe as far as colors, but the way they put it together, it's one of the best KDs in my opinion. So, KD6s anyway, it's one of the best KD6s. Okay, so now there's no KD out right now. As far as the socks, there's no KD sock for them out. So I just stick with the basic black and blue and black and orange elites. Pop off the shoe real good, as you can see. It just stands out. Now I know a lot of people are gonna ask me if I, if I would get this shoe over certain shoes. Um, I would get this shoe over a lot of shoes, actually, that's out right now. The only shoe I probably wouldn't, that I probably would get these over, will probably be the Derrick Rose, the Away one. Not the Brenda, but the Away one. I'll probably get I'll probably get the Away D Rose over these if I was hooping. But if I'm just wearing them on an everyday basis, like just a regular shoe just to just to throw on, I would go with these all day. So get you guys a couple of angles with the sock really quick. I was going to grab these or do a review at first, but then I was like, man, I don't have anything with orange and blue in it, and I don't really get the KDs like that. So I was like, I might as well get it, since there's nothing that I really want to get this month, other than the um, the, the Oreo 5 that's dropping, and the, uh, the Six Rings that's coming out, the Bread Six Ring. That's actually like one of my, that's my favorite Fusion shoe, period. The Six Ring and the that bread one, I actually like that bread one more than the bread 11s. A lot of people might think I'm crazy, but I don't know, I have to see them again in person and compare them, but when they first came out, I liked them more than the 11s, and I had them both at the same time back then, but I was like probably 
15 or 14 at the time. So, just a quick glimpse at them one more time for y'all. Quick run around. Got the socks. Perfect match. Nike check, fly wire on the inside. These are very comfortable. Like I said, they fit true to size or a half size up from whatever you get in Jordans or a half size up from whatever you get in Air Force Ones. And there you have it, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the review. Like I said, these are gonna hit for 130. You know, the socks are usually like $14 each, so basically you can get everything for about 165, 167, somewhere around there. So y'all have a good one. Peace.